Mutation testing is completed basically in our patients um, specifically to help identify what may potentially benefit you more so in your therapy than just standard chemotherapy alone. So before we used to always provide chemotherapy by itself and we have some biologic agents that we don't need any mutation analysis for, um, such as bevacizumab, as well as the other anti-angiogenic agents. There's been no specific markers that tell us if patients, such as yourself, benefit um, specifically from those type of drugs. However, we do know that there's another class of drugs, actually, that if we don't do the mutation analysis on you, if you have the mutation, it's almost as receiving placebo or getting basically a sugar pill if we were to give you this class of drugs. And there, therefore, it doesn't benefit you at all. And it can cost quite a bit of money for patients. Um, so you want to make sure that you are a patient that doesn't have a mutation. Now, you may say, well, how often do these mutations happen? So the most common mutation, specifically in colorectal cancer, is something called the KRAS mutation. And it's about 30 to 50% of colorectal cancer patients. What's unique about that mutation is if you have it, you cannot get one's other class of drugs that we could consider in the frontline setting as well as in later lines of treatment. And it's very important to know because it has side effects and those side effects could be also um, very uncomfortable for you because it causes a significant rash. You can have a potential allergic reaction. The drug is, can be very costly because it's an antibody. So I don't want to give you a drug unless I know it may potentially benefit you. And that's why it's very, very important. Prior studies have shown that if you have that mutation, you should not receive this class of drugs. And we now even have more additional information that there's even more uncommon mutations that are linked to this KRAS mutation um, that basically tell us that you should also, if you definitely even have those rarer mutations, you should not also receive this class of drugs. One other thing that's important, specifically in colorectal cancer, there's a very rare type of mutation called the BRAF mutation. It's very uncommon. It's about 5 to 8% of patients. But we do know that if you actually have it, we must treat you aggressively up front. As, because as a result of this mutation, the tumors tend to be very aggressive. And so we understand that we must treat you up front very aggressively early on. The one issue that occurs with the test results, number one, is um, they usually take about five to seven business days. And depending upon what we order, but for the generalized mutation analysis, it's usually five to 10 business days in order to receive them. But that doesn't prohibit us from starting you on chemotherapy immediately. It just will tell us what other um, targeted agent we may or may not provide to you in conjunction with the chemotherapy. There's obviously additional mutations that you can order as part of a panel, but unfortunately, a lot of those mutations that they may find, and, you, and there are various mutations. We're talking mutations that develop over time. We're not talking about inherited mutations. If you're an extremely young patient, I will order a special genetic testing um, to see if you have a rare inherited form of colorectal cancer, although inherited forms of colorectal cancer only represent 5 to 7% of the patient population. Greater than 75% of colorectal cancer is sporadic. So the purpose for us to order mutation analysis is more for treatment purposes. And even though we may order a whole panel of mutations, not all those mutations are those that we can target and have a drug to utilize. And that's unfortunate for, you know, for, for many people. They think that once we identify the mutation, we've got a drug, we can um, treat you with it. And that is not the case, unfortunately. As a patient, when you come to this institution, I think it's very important to understand we're a very large cancer center. And as a result, we have lots of other patients we also have to address. But we will always go over your results as soon as possible. We normally bring our patients back within a 24, I'm sorry, within a 48 to 72 hour period, depending upon the patient's uh, schedule, um, to go over the test results. We like to do it here in person. Um, this may differ from a private practice setting where they are literally in the office many more days, probably th four or five days a week. Whereas here at the academic institution, the majority of time we're only here two days a week, we conduct research in our spare time. Um, so we will have you come back on the next clinic day to go over those results as soon as possible.